Hello, Mr. Walters Technology students. This is a how-to about how to create a vocabulary spreadsheet, part two. How to create a vocabulary spreadsheet, part two. And we're going to pick up where we left off from the first video. Here we have the sheet that we made, the Google Sheet. It's got its title. It's got its subtitle. Now, of course, your title and your subtitle will be different depending on the assignment that you're doing. Okay, uh, and we have gone through the process of putting in numbers, and I wanted to show you something that I didn't know how to do last time, but now I do. If you start with the number one, okay, in a cell like that, like I typed in the number one already, like here you here this is what it would look like. Here's the number one. You type it in number one, and then you go into that cell. If you hold down the control key and then click and drag on that handle, that dot it will automatically number for you. So that's kind of a handy thing. Holding down the control key causes that to automatically number. So we've got our uh, vocabulary words in there. And remember, uh, I, I clicked on the bold to uh, format those a little bit. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you another uh, little trick here too that you, you don't have to do, but I think it's kind of cool with the vocabulary assignment. If we um, highlight these words or those cells that we want to work with, and we come here and we find our alignment drop down, there are there are three cho choices here: left alignment, center alignment, and right alignment. If you align those to the right, it kind of looks cool. You know, you got the word, and then you got the vocabulary, the definition to it. Although uh, it does leave these numbers hanging over here off to the left. So it kind of depends on how you like it. I'm going to leave it up to you, but I sort of like uh, the way that looks when you have it uh, formatted that way. And what I've done, uh, I've begun working on the definitions. Uh, I did a definition here for technology artifacts created by humans to control their environment. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some uh, column headings here. And so that I am just to get, you know getting some more uh, uh, experience working with the spreadsheet. So this is the this column is for the vocabulary term. So I'm going to put that heading in there. Of course that that needs to be uh, right aligned also, and I'll make that bold. Uh, I may want to make that one size larger than the other. So that's at 10. So maybe I'll step that up to size 11. And over here, I have the definition. I want to show you another trick here. This is kind of cool. So I typed in the word definition. Now I'm going to zoom in so that you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, so I typed in the, the word definition here. You can see that's on size 10. But if I want to take the, the format that I have in this uh, in this cell and apply it to that. There's this cool thing called the Format Painter. What that does is it takes the formatting, which is the, the bold, and I change the size, and I also right aligned it. And if I, if I highlight that cell and I click on the Format Painter, and then I click on the cell that I want to apply it to, you see that it applied that same format to this cell. Now, of course, I don't want the, the, uh, that definition to be right aligned. Uh, so I'm gonna, I am gonna come back here to my alignment and make that center align for my, for my definition. Okay. And one of the th other things we're gonna add, I'm gonna zoom back out, is we're gonna add a, a column for the website. Okay. Because we want to have a website that uh, we can visit to help us understand what this term is. You've done some work on finding websites already. And, uh, you know, once again, you can use those skills that you've learned about making bookmarks uh, to find websites that you need. I'm going to take and use my format painter and paint that format right on top of that. And I'm not worried about going off any, any page. We're not going to be printing these out. So I'm not worried about how far I go over on there. This is an electronic document. So I got lots and lots of space. You know, this spreadsheet... This spreadsheet goes way, way, way over to the side, okay, if we start going in that direction. So we got lots of space. So 
uh, I want to include in here a website for my vocabulary term technology. So uh, in another tab, I did a search for what is technology, and there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of results that I found, and I I looked through some of those, but here's one that I found uh, on a site called Open Learn um, that that was an article about what is technology so I like that and here is the the link right the URL to that page and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click up there and control C that so I've copied the link alright I copied that URL um, and I'm looking at mine and I, I see that you can't see that that is above the top of there okay so um, I'm trusting that you know where that URL is and that you can highlight and copy it so I, I'm sorry about that you can't see it my windows uh, hiding that um, let's see if I can make that up here oh, there we go okay so here's the here's the URL up here and basically what I did was I highlighted that and I did control C to copy it. So now I'm coming back over to my spreadsheet and I'm moving over here to be able to see the cell that I'm working with. Okay, and here's the website. Now, what I'm going to do here is instead of putting in that entire URL, okay? I'll show you what that would look like if I control V that's really long, okay? It's a really long uh, URL. What I'm going to show you how to do is how to put a link in, okay? And so what we're going to do is, what we're going to do in this cell is choose the insert menu, and then I need to scroll down and choose insert link, okay? When you do that, you're going to get two boxes, one that says text and the other one that says link. And it says paste a link or search. So here's where I'm going to paste in that link, the URL. But over here in the text, this is where I'm going to type in what you will see. I'm actually making a hyperlink. And there's different ways that you could do this, but I could title this something like uh, what is technology from open learn okay that's the name of that website so oop I lost my insert again so I'll go back to that insert link and once again in the text I can put in something like uh, visit open learn to read about technology dot 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 and hit apply okay now I, I realize that's that's still pretty long uh, but what I did is I made a link so now when I come here and I hover over the top of that uh, I could actually click and visit go to visit my that open learn website okay so inside of my spreadsheet, right, I, I did a link. I'm going to do that again so that you see. All right, so the word that I'm working with is technology, and the definition that I found, I already got that, and I typed that in. I got that actually from my e-text. But now what I did is I searched on the web, and I found a, a cool site, right, that I read through, and this has a good definition of what technology is. And so I'm um, in my spreadsheet, I'm going to choose the insert menu and then choose insert link. And that comes up with two things, the link and the text. So I'm going to control V to paste the link. And then in the text, I can put in something like click here to visit open learn. to learn about technology dot 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 and hit apply you can you can type in you know whatever you like inside of the 
um, text portion of that. I'm going to adjust that a little bit. But now you've got a link all right there, uh, organized very well in your spreadsheet. Okay, so that wraps it up for the what you need to do. Uh, you want to have your vocabulary numbered. You want to have the, the vocabulary term uh, column there. You want to have the column for your definitions. Uh, we also want to have a column for the website. And we have inserted a link so that now when I go to look at your spreadsheet, I can just ho hover over the top of that and follow your links to get to that website. Okay? Uh, I'll do one more uh, how-to video about formatting this, but this is uh, what you need to work on for this part of the assignment for now.